doing that thieving stuff. The police following us all for what? Why were they following you? Because there's a pack of riders riding. What is bike life? It's in the name, isn't it? Bike life. That's what the boys in the block call it. An underground scene of riders on the margins of Britain's cities. But as this youth subculture motors on, so does crime. Figures obtained by Channel 4 News reveal that in the capital, moped enabled crime where a suspect has tried to escape on a moped, motorbike or a scooter has increased by 144% in just four months this year. Residents are very concerned that it appears that criminals are taking to their streets with impunity and that they feel less safe. When I walked along the pavement, a um, motorbike um, came past and um, stole my mobile phone out of my hands. I think it is intimidating. It is a serious crime and it is important that police put in the resources to try and stop it happening. What appear to be police chases like this are being posted to social media under the hashtag bike life. We obtained these pictures from an account of a self-confessed bike life rider who is now behind bars. Here he is again taking a different type of selfie. Britain's biggest police force launched Operation Venice as part of a crackdown on moped crime. And that crackdown is felt here. But for Ashley, James and Connor, bike life is not about crime. They say they're not robbers, but because of refusal to stop the police, they may be included in crime stats. We've got like balaclavas, that doesn't mean anything. It don't mean uh, we're covering our face because we're going to do a robbery or going to do a bank job. We're just riding, do you know what I mean? I would say every day without fail, there must be at least five, no, 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 at least 10, 10 to 20 police chases in the area on bikes. I don't know how many of them will result in accidents how, and collisions. How, how many of you have been chased by police? All, all four of us, without a doubt, 100%. And have any of you ever had any injuries as yeah. a result? Oh, I've had an injury. Like, I shattered my kneecap. Happened in 2007. I got chased by a traffic police. It was a long time ago. I got chased by a traffic police. All I was doing, I was just chilling. What these boys do is dangerous. The risk of injury is high, and many support a crackdown. But is police pursuit the answer? And how effective and safe a policy is it? Figures from the independent body Inquest say over 200 people have died following police pursuits or road traffic incidents in the past 10 years. One of them was Henry Hicks. My brother was so lovely. He really was the loveliest person you could ever meet. Like, he had such a good heart. He was doing football and then he started training to be a carpenter. I don't think they should be chasing them. I mean, it's, there's no need to chase these boys on, on their bikes. They know where they live. They can find them. Why are they, why are they going to chase them? They, 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 they're not only risking the people on the bike's life, but they're risking members of the public's life. According to the IPCC, Henry Hicks died when his scooter collided with a civilian car after failing to stop for police. Four officers had been given gross misconduct notices as part of the IPCC's investigation, which Channel 4 News has been told has concluded, but it's yet to be published. The police say they've fully cooperated and since August, only officers trained in tactical pursuit now pursue motor vehicles. They said... The MPS is always continually looking at developing our tactics to both prevent unnecessary pursuits and stop vehicles in a safe and controlled manner. But back in Croydon, Ashley and his boys are still taking extraordinary risks on public roads. If people are riding on, on bikes that are not legit, then obviously the police are going to chase them. Yeah, I, I understand where you're coming from because obviously, like, it's against the law to ride around on, on a bike that's not yours or a stolen bike and whatever, committing crimes. But I don't know, there's, there's other ways about it. Do you know what I mean? They don't have to keep, they don't have to give chase. There's ways around it. They could just obviously take the registration or take a note of what area it was in at what time. But also people don't have to, you know, take bikes. Yeah, yeah, there's that too, but that's, that's something you'll never stop, just like hunger in the world and, and people killing each other. It's bound to happen. Convinced? At least Ashley owns his. Since we arrived, his crew has grown. But as the sun sets on this session, they're about to start a new one in northwest London. This is London's A406. Riders from across the country bomb down this stretch every Friday to stay ahead of traffic police. At 
And this is where they're headed, the mecca of riders, by the Ace Cafe in northwest London, a hotspot since the 1950s. Here, some of the new boys admit to breaking the rules, but don't agree that the growth of bike life is behind the rise in crime. All of these are legit. We ain't none of that thieving stuff. If, if, if we're pulling a stunt and that's breaking the law, then we're breaking the law, but apart from that, that's all we're doing. A couple of weeks back, we was in Bedford, yeah, and they wasted all the taxpayers' money with the helicopters, free helicopters coming and changing, police following us, all for what? Why were they following you? Because there was a pack of riders riding. They wasted all that money having all them helicopters out for what? And, and did they catch you? No. Earlier, it felt like there were absolutely thousands here. On my left-hand side, there are groups of moped crews. On my right-hand side, there are hundreds of boys running up and down doing wheelies. At the same time, there are huge trucks coming into the Royal Mail Depot, which creates a huge danger. But what I will say is that the scenes here are absolutely electrifying. This is bike life. <laughs> But the rise of bike life is more than a matter of boys and their toys. The Metropolitan Police warned that driving dangerously on the roads heightens the risk of injury and fatalities. And with such acts committed under the banner of bike life, this underground scene is under scrutiny.